How's it going guys? So today's Friday, November the 3rd. I'm waiting on the drag line guys to show up. They should be here any minute. And we're gonna get our manure hold out of our main pit. I was showing in my last video, it's getting up to the top there. So while I was waiting here, I did want to shout out. We restocked our hats. These were pretty popular. Uh, these nice gray mesh backed hats. And then hoodies as well. We have more of these on the way. We're getting a little bit low on these green ones, but uh, there's some other hoodies there, so. My sister takes care of the merch, does all the packaging, and she does a good job with that. So definitely check out what we have on the store there. The link's down in the description below the video. So I appreciate it, guys. Just pulled in, he's gotta get his pump set up. So we're gonna run the pump using our tractor. Just got a regular pit pump to pull the manure out of the pit. And then there's a big pump they're gonna bring to actually force the manure out the hose. Got the tractor hooked up. He's gonna help me drop that into the pit then. He's working at getting the hose laid out. So we're gonna start at the farm across the road. This is the bottom end of the home farm right back behind our heifer barn. And there's a pipe that goes under the road here for rainwater. He disconnected the hose there. They're gonna pull that through underneath here then. start agitating the pit here while while they get the rest of their pipe set up. Yep, there comes the rig he's pulling in now. The same guys we had in the spring but they got a new bigger uh spreader nozzle bar here so a bigger tractor it's 50 foot wide so not as many tracks in the field we got the pit pump just to pull the manure out of the pit and pump it over to this unit and then this thing is what's going to pressurize the hose and push it out up to a mile away we can haul manure without tanking it Pretty cool equipment these guys build. It's hydraulic driven reels so they can easily roll this stuff up and unroll it where they want it. We're setting up here to pull this hose through the culvert. The barn's up there, the other side of the farm. He's got his pipe laid out the way over here. It's gonna go under, it's like a mile, over a mile of, of hose. They're just about set up here. Had to rework the hose a little bit to make sure it would reach. This field here is not as tall. This is the triticale we planted after soybeans. Most of the triticale looks like this right here. It's pushing a foot tall. Really good looking stuff. Said it's good if it's taller like this. We'll see the tracks a little bit more, but it'll grow right back.
see those drop hoses just kind of place it between the, the crop instead of like a spreader would kind of cover over top of it uh, this kind of just falls down through the plants to the ground across the road so this is actually air pressure now you got a thing here it's called a pig it's like a foam ball they send through it and they have a big air compressor pushing air force out all the liquid in the, the line because they if they're full of liquid they're extremely heavy they're doing this last field on this side of the road they're shortening up their line because this field's right by this culvert it's got nine and a half acres here and then i think they're gonna quit for tonight at some point finish tomorrow then to start off the field he drives straight down the middle diagonal and then he works from there to the one side and then he comes back to the middle again and works from there to the other side Normally when you spread with the tankers, you would not be able to stand that close to the spreader because it's just splashing out a mist of manure. Kind of aerosolizes it and then it just floats off. It smells a lot more and that smell is your ammonia, your uh, nitrogen leaving. There's a couple advantages with the drag line. For one thing, we're not driving the tanks over the fields with all that weight on them. So it's going to be better for the soil health. Just the fact that we can come on later like this when the crop's already growing a bit and it's cooler late in the fall. It's going to help keep that nitrogen here in the soil. These plants can pull it in right away or it'll just stay in the soil for the spring. This field had been corn silage and usually we would spread broadcast spread uh, manure on there before we planted the triticale I guess but this year we just planted triticale. Didn't put any manure on until right now. This is first week in November. putting 6,500 gallons to the acre on 